said, and I told her, I said, we had a special prayer for you. And when the video goes, I'm going to send it to you. My pastor sent you a message, and I cried, God's got you. She said, I spent the best last night than I had in a very long time. I said, thank you, God. I know the prayers for sure one up for you. She said, I felt that I was so tired last night. I cleaned the entire day and moved some furniture in and kept me storage dead and got Tommy's leg recliner back out. I sat down in it and it was like getting a big bag of butter for Tommy. My heart felt at peace for a little while. I didn't feel less anxious this morning. Then she sent me another message this morning. And she said, I said, I just wanted to tell you I love you so much. She said, I love you too. I sat on my bed last night watching that last video you sent me over and over. It felt like I was right in church beside you guys. I am surprised I didn't wake Tiffany up singing and praising God. They truly ain't no grave to hold my body down. I said, I could cry. That's so awesome. I needed that this morning. She said, this is the first morning I have thanked God for another day since Tommy's diagnosis. I said, thank you, Jesus. I'm happy to find you in church today. She said, I'm still lost. so very lost and my heart hurts so much without Tommy. But I feel like God is going to be in it a little at a time. And I'm his home, not mine. You know, that goes to show you, no matter what you go through, you know that God's right there. You know, we all need somebody. And I know that God placed me back in her life for a reason. And I've got work to do, you know. And I just say thank you, Lonnie. It just blessed me, and I wanted to share it with everybody, you know. And I'm just so thankful, you know, that she's. Getting, she's back on the right track, I feel, you know. She, that's who God's spirit's led. And it's going to stay on and off the place she's going to make it.
been that friend to me. And I seem like a lot of times, Brother Buck, there's no words to turn. But we're glad we can always turn to Jesus. That unchanging hand, Brother Jim, that'll pick us up and to be our very present help in the time of trouble. We need to learn to lean on Him and trust in Him more than anything in this life, Brother Buck, because all else is going to pay, all else is going to crumble. But as long as we stay in that strong power and Jesus, Brother Mike, we can make it. No matter what comes that way, we can make it overcome that because Jesus has done well before us to prepare a way. And I'm glad to know that he's living within my spirit. Glad to know that I accept him as my personal Savior. I'm glad to know that he said that he would be there. Sister Daniel, let this up. Well, it seems like we don't know where the next thing is coming from. He said if you was an understanding that you pass it all the natural understanding. Ain't you glad for a cause like that? Ain't you glad that you got a friend? That you can depend on and call on him when everything else is going wrong. God has said it will be there. I'm excited today about what God is doing. Get in and let him bless you because he's got what you need. I love you, Jesus. Bless God. Open. Bless God. Yes, Lord.
He sees something in us. And we are dangerous. If you got the Holy Ghost, yeah. you are dangerous to the devil. Look over your neighbor and say, buddy. I'm dangerous to the devil. You ain't got nobody here. Somebody said, that's crazy, my heart. All right. All How do you put something inside of us? I tell you what, if I could have walked on the water, the man down to let down the shore hit. Yeah. I fell on. I was watching that water go down the street. Hello. Yeah. <laughs>
people watching their lives. See, now I live, now I talk, how I dress, where I'm going to want to say. What I do. And I want somebody to say, surely. That Brother Paul Van Dyke is a child of God. Oh, somebody. Notice what's in my life. This place is nothing. It's going back to the dust of the earth. This place is nothing but a failure without God. The writer said, mortify the deeds of this body. Mortify means put them to death. Come on.
that I don't believe the sinner can sit in the congregation of the righteous or he has to get to the altar and hit the door. You know, what are you saying, Brother Paul? I'm saying the anointing is going to be so powerful in the church before Jesus comes that the sinner man cannot sit in the seat. He'll have to run to the altar. You 
sold to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. Right. Damnation and judgment of God. Right. And I hope I said a little bit to help you. I feel like I go on my own there too. Come on. The chicken was expecting the box to come. Maybe don't take it. I've seen a few of them on the book. Oh, you said the same thing, Brother Paul. Yeah. my chicken house, they get my chicken house. They ain't a day enough for me to get dog. Come on, we're here. Somebody said, you should be talking about you. And that's just off the devil. I'm going to step on him just a minute every time I get a chance. Yeah. I'm going to walk on him, Brother Mike, just like he's walking on us sometimes. Right. That's the way the word be. Right. Need to stand against the ones of it. Don't let the devil, you convert, play with your mind and mess your mind up. When the devil begins to talk, say, Jesus, I rebuke that thou spirit in your name. I'm covered with the blood, Lord. I'm on your children. Hallelujah. Glory, I feel God.
Thank you. 
I lay her hand on mama's hand. Lord, mama served you for many years, Jesus. She's been faithful to you, Lord, ever since I knew. And you promised us, Lord. We keep the commandments. Do what your word said you were yours. Mama needs a touch in the name of Jesus.
Thank you. 